next uh, speaker uh, is uh, Jiangku Li from the University of Queen's University of Belfast. He's going to be talking about uh, transpise object detection to maximize real time accuracy on the edge. Uh, go ahead and take over, Jiangku. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. And my name is Jiangku Li, and uh, I'm a research fellow at Queen's University of Belfast. And I'm going to present the work, Trans-Precise Object Detection to Maximize Real-Time Accuracy on the Edge. This work was supported by the two projects, OPRECOM and DIPA. The idea of edge computing is in locating the edge device near to the data to realize low latency response time or minimize the data size then to the cloud by pre-processing the data on the edge devices. Edge devices can be utilized in either edge-only mode or hybrid mode. In edge-only mode, the edge device itself performs real-time video analytics, and in hybrid mode, the edge device is connected to the cloud. Edge computing is fitted to real-time video analytics applications. However, in general, the compute resource is limited in edge devices, making inference latency longer. As a consequence, a longer latency incurs more drop frames, for real-time video analytics applications, resulting in degrading real-time object detection accuracy. We noticed that real-time video input data have dynamic features in terms of object size and object moving speed. And we can leverage such dynamic input features to improve the accuracy. Therefore, our approach switches multiple deep neural networks dynamically according to such dynamic input features in order to maximize the real-time object detection accuracy. We named this approach as trans-precise trans object detection, TOT for short. In our experimental setup, we utilized the four different neural models. Since we do not want the time overhead when the TOT switches the network on the fly, TOT preloads the four neural models as an initialization process. After the initialization, Runtime scheduler selects an appropriate YOLO model on the fly according to the object size detected from the uh, real-time video stream data. So in the demonstration figures in the, at the bottom, when the objects are fading away and getting smaller with YOLO before 288 model, the third switches the current YOLO model to YOLO before 416, which is heavier than the current YOLO model to detect smaller size objects. For our experiments, we implemented TOT on an NVIDIA JS Nano. So TOT obtained the superior average accuracy over the entire data set, entire MOT17 data set, compared to each single URL model. For example, TOT achieves 35% accuracy gain compared to a single URL before Tiny288 model. And also, TOT is beneficial in terms of power saving. TOT requires only 63% of the power without losing accuracy compared to your LOP4416 model. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you very much for your listening to my presentation. Thank you very much. I wanna thank our sponsors that made this event possible. Um, so the premier sponsors, Newton, working on automated TinyML. If you were there a few days ago, we had a keynote explaining what they're doing. Executive sponsors are ARM, um, um, Edge Impulse as well, um, and Qualcomm, um, Sentient, and then our Platinum sponsors. We have Infineon and Reality AI. Gold sponsors are Latent AI, SenseML, and our silver sponsors are EMSA, Greenwaves, HOTG, Imagimop, GISO, SEED, and ST. And with that, I thank you very much for staying on till the very last end, um, the last day of the, uh, the last session of the last day. And um, with that, I think we can close the, the forum for uh, this year. Thank you everybody for contributing. Thank you, Andreas, for uh, 
also moderating this session. 